Tuesday, April 6th. About to be April 7th. It's only an hour away. Heading to the very first node that uh, me and Brian did together in an apartment complex uh, right off of Santa Fe. And uh, yeah, from the look of the print, we're adding uh, some taps and stuff on the back side. Looks like it's uh, about set to have people move in to get service. So, I guess it's safe to say, look, work, work's been drained, work had drained a lot out of me, and rightfully so. Obviously, I'm working nights, and um, school during the day, all that, so it's, it's hard, I'm not gonna lie, but uh, I'm on a night schedule now which seems a lot better um yeah i finished my midterms it took it took a while to do them i'm not even gonna lie i don't even want to know what the finals are gonna be like but uh midterms were a little tough but i got them done um if i do decide to finish these classes in the fall, uh, I'm going to look for an instructor. So, so I heard that there is other instructors that I could get. So I'm gonna look for a different instructor. Um, although Mr. Little's a nice guy, he seems like a good guy, very knowledgeable and passionate about what he does. He's just not a good teacher at all. Um, so nothing against the man. I just, I, I, he doesn't click with me. And I have a feeling his success rate with his students is just like it was with his clients, uh, almost zero. I mean, I'm surprised I'm passing. Anyway, today I am grateful for my new niece that came into the world today. Luna. It's a pretty cool name. Uh, I'm grateful for my job. And I'm grateful for the progress that I can clearly see. Uh, I, I have to see things. I don't see things it's very hard for me to get a grasp on it and you know to be grateful and all of that so like I actually see stuff coming and happening and I'm very very happy for it something I am a little upset about though is uh, for some reason and it, it this has got to be the reason something told me yesterday to check out Cassie's Facebook and it, it, it was eating at me for a little while like a couple hours and finally I did it and uh, you know I saw that her mother passed away and uh, you know first thing that ran through my head was holy crap I got in that argument with her and you know I showed my ass I told her pretty much go F herself, get the F out. But, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't for, it wasn't a case of, you know, I was upset with her. You know, I was just trying to stand up for Cassie and, you know, if something was upsetting her. So, you know, I ended up wigging out on the lady. But, you know, I am very grateful that I did get to know her. And, you know, I know that she had her demons and she struggled with her addictions. And, you know, I just hope it wasn't addiction that got her. I have a feeling it was, but, you know, I, I, I just hope it wasn't. Um, you know, uh, I hope she forgives me. And uh, I hope 
hope she understands why, you know, I did what I did. I hope she knows that I'm sorry. I really didn't mean anything by it. But I did reach out to her grandmother because that was her daughter. And, you know, I, I expressed my condolences. And, you know, I, I know I didn't have to. And, you know, I know I didn't have to tell her I'm afraid for you and the whole family. I, I know I didn't have to do that. But I did. And I really did pray for them. I really do wish them nothing but the best. But I've been trying to see Mary now for a couple days. And uh, it's just things getting in the way, preventing it. Like last, yesterday, it was, I was done with work too early. And I would have been waiting for an hour and a half to go over there. And I was sitting in the parking lot at the gas station for five minutes. And I was falling asleep. And I was like, okay, yeah, no, hour, hour and a half of this, I'm, I'm going to be out. So, I went home, which, you know, was good. It was needed. I needed to sleep. I uh, went home, I went to sleep, and uh, I got ready. Then from school, went back to sleep, and then got up, got ready for work, and here I am. But, uh... I hit another one I call dry patch with uh, my walk with God. I know that I know that He's here. I do. I get little signs here and there. Um, I know that He's with me. I just uh, I'm not feeling as good. I think it's part of it's my conscience. You know, um, I, I took, I got baptized, and, but in order to get baptized, I took a stupid anxiety pill because of the setup and how many people were there, and like literally, I was freaking out. I stood inside and waited, like by myself. People came in to ask me if I wanted to come out and everything, and like I was freaking out even after taking it. But, you know, I, I feel something I've been struggling with the past couple of days. I, I feel bad that I did it. But at the same time, I'm like, you know, I'm cleansed. I'm clean. You know, I, and I didn't do it out of, uh, for the wrong reasons. Yes, I mean, taking something that's not prescribed to me anytime is the wrong reason. But, like, I, I'm not justifying it. But at the same time, I am. But, I mean, either way... You know, I, 10 months, I feel like I just threw down the tube. But I'm not trying to look at it like that. You know, I don't keep track of sobriety anyway just for that reason. You know, because it's what I'm supposed to be doing anyway. It's what I should have been doing the entire time. But, uh... Yeah. struggling with that a little bit, but, uh, it's all going to work out. It's all good. I hope that I get to see Mary today. I really do. I got, uh, Eden, a little bear, and I found, I got a nice car seat, um, that I want to give her. I was going to tell her, you know, I got us a car seat for Eden, but then I was like, that might sound a little crazy or something, like, I don't know, but, uh, yeah, um, hopefully I get to see her in the morning, and, uh, God, I pray that you keep, keep my family safe, watch over my new niece, over my whole family as you have been. Lord, I ask that I learned something new tonight that'll help me further my career path that I'm on right now. Um, I really can see myself doing this for a while. A long time. Um... Lord, I pray that 
sorry that you just watch over me as you have been. I know you have been. And I'm sorry that I get discouraged and distant and feel like you left, even though I know you haven't. Deep down, I know you haven't. I want to pray that you keep everybody that I love and that I know safe. And may better days be in front of all of us. learning to not go off of what I think, I'm trying very hard to let go of what I think and go, just go with it, live in the moment, and uh, trust you, I hope I'm doing a good job of it, Lord, I ask that you help me forgive myself for the decision that I made on Easter while getting baptized help me to forgive myself for that, please, Lord. And, uh, I pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen.